How many of you had some New Year's resolutions at the beginning of 2022? Some goals that you had set. How many of you? Raise your hand just so I know that some of you set some goals for 2022. Okay, that's good. There's not very many hands up, folks. This is a whole other sermon I'm going to have to preach for you. <laughs> kind of blows the next question out. How's that working out for you? Usually by this point, middle of the summer, those goals that you had at the beginning of the year that you said, Joe oh, right, it's 2022, I'm going to make some changes. Usually they, they kind of were going strong in the winter. You had a routine. Then it sort of, you know, dwindled in the spring, and the summer sun just faded it away. Am I right? That's usually how it goes. I just want to encourage you, don't give up on those goals. Stick with them. I had an important goal for me personally. I set 12 goals for this year, and one of them was not necessarily to exercise more, but to exercise in a specific way to compete in a triathlon, a sprint triathlon. And I personally like training for the triathlon because of the variety that I get to do. So I could swim one day, I could bike, I could run, sometimes I get on the elliptical, sometimes I go for a walk with my wife. That's like running. You know, I have longer legs, but she's quick, always pushing me. Come on, 15 minute mile, let's go. How about you? Are you in training? Not for a triathlon. Are you in spiritual training? Because the Bible tells us, God tells us, that we are to train ourselves for godliness. For while bodily training is of some value, godliness is of value in every way, as it holds promise for the present life and also for the life to come. The message is clear. Train yourself for godliness. Do your spiritual exercises. I doubt very highly that people will be admiring their bulging muscles in heaven. Because the heavenly body is not like the earthly body. So if you go to the gym one hour, how about you spend two hours doing a spiritual exercise, building up your spiritual muscles? Because whatever you do on earth spiritually, we see here, it carries over into heaven. You get to take your spiritual muscles with you to heaven. That's exciting, is it not? Say amen if you agree. 